Christians, I want you to do me a favor. Do not be swayed by other so-called Christians. A prominent Christian, I'll talk about it on Monday, or John Piper, I'll just tell you who it is, who I'm not a fan of, never have been, but nonetheless, he's now backing Biden. Another uh, spineless move by a pastor that can't seem to muster up enough um, lack of political correctness to do what is right for America. Now, I don't care. He can call himself a Christian, and I don't want to call that into question. I'm sure the the um, essentials of the Christian faith he's trying to live by. So I, I can't argue that. Just don't call yourself a patriot. I hope he doesn't do that. Because that would be far worse for me than calling yourself a Christian. I just hope he doesn't call himself a patriot. Because you know how wonderful it is for him to uh, do what he does? Does he think he's going to do that under the communist socialist regime? I guess he does. Apparently he does. How about he picks the phone up and calls John MacArthur and asks him what he thinks, who has been in legal battles that are trying to shut his church down with every fiber of their be being. The, the municipality even took his parking lot away. I'm talking about John MacArthur's parking lot away to try to diminish people from getting to his church to worship God. Is that what John Piper is voting for? Good for you, John. You go get them. God help us. We've got to stay true. Look, it's not that hard, folks. You can dig and dig. This is not a deep theological issue. I would hope, obviously, John Piper doesn't. Well, that's going to get me some emails. I would hope that we would have studied or sat under enough people that were expository teaching us enough that we would understand the nature of God because you cannot do any kind of interpretation or reading of God's word without understanding the nature of God. You're not going to ever know all of the nature of God. Nobody's going to know that till we get to glory. But we can know enough to know that God himself on this earth walking into a voting booth is not going to vote for abortion, is not going to vote for the redefinition of his word. He is not going to vote for those things. That would be in direct conflict with his nature. We don't have to know every political aspect that God wants to be in, but we do know that all authority is ordained of God, yes, and we have a, a biblical responsibility to participate in that which God has ordained. It only is logical. But to think, but to think that if Jesus were walking this earth, he is going to back Two people, Biden and Harris, that are okay with tearing a baby apart in the womb at any stage of a pregnancy is okay with him. What he has been knitting together for six months, seven months, eight months, nine months, whatever, it's okay to tear it apart and murder the baby. Does John Piper believe that's okay? Apparently he does. Apparently he does. And apparently he believes that if God were walking this earth, he'd be walking in the voting booth voting for Biden because God, God wouldn't care either. Uh, I'm oversimplifying it. I just got this text during the break. I just got it about this, so... I haven't had time to think about it, which is generally better for me. So uh, it, it is just, uh, we, can we just stick to the truth? Can we just stick to the heart of God? Can we stick to the things that grieve that heart? Can we think about how we participate in grieving that heart or not grieving that heart? 
Can we think about that? Well, that's only one issue. So abort, it's one thing, one issue. Oh, uh, the redefinition of his word? Well, you know, times are changing. Okay. So you stand before the Lord when you will and tell him, hey, come on, things are changing. Lord, you know that. I mean, you know, we, I, that was okay, right? Good. You are, I, hope I'm, I hope I can see some of that. Hey, remember to click the subscribe button right here on the screen. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when new content is added. And more importantly than anything, you don't want to miss all three live hours of financial issues every day from 9 to noon. And you can watch it on FISM.TV. That's FISM.TV.